My brothers and sisters in Christ, as always, I hope this midweek message finds you and your families happy, healthy, holy, and wise. While there's a lot going on in the world and in the, the church global right now, obviously our hurts continue to, to be with what the situation in Israel and Gaza right now, and also in the global stage of the church, the, the synod continues through the, the month of October. Uh, Pope Francis also took the, the opportunity uh, in these last few days to issue a new apostolic exhortation. Uh, in fact, on this past Sunday, uh, on the, the theme of St. Therese of Lisieux, the little flower. And he offered this letter as a reminder that the letter was titled C'est la confiance, which is based on the opening words of a phrase of hers that went, it is confidence and nothing but confidence that must lead us to love. And the theme of for Pope Francis was to communicate that amongst a uh, a very complex world and issues that seem so complex and over and overwhelming at times, especially for the search of solutions, a reminder that the little flower always gives a direction of a way someone can turn. Her little way was championed uh, as a way not of complex theology or uh, in forms of mission, but just the simple vocation to love the little things the little things in every day, to the little acts of love, the way in which to love through the seemingly mundane, and the fact that this itself was a path to, to growing closer to Jesus. And so Pope Francis wished to reiterate that when, when in doubt about where to turn next, it's to focus on the things we can control in the here and now, and to do all things, even the most mundane, with love. This past weekend on Saturday, we had our Core Ed Core Festival, and I want to thank everyone who turned out. I, of course, especially want to thank all of our volunteers, our planning committee, our donors, all who made the festival possible, but especially so many people uh, that, that came out, not just making an appearance, but many who even spent the whole day with us uh, at the festival. It was heartwarming to see our parish family get together and uh, just to simply have a lot of fun. And so thank you. Uh, whether you played a part in planning or putting the festival on, or you disgraced it with your presence, thank you, because that was the purpose, a moment just to revel in community life with one another. This upcoming weekend, we have the next of our baby showers as we seek to walk with moms in need. As we shared this past Sunday, there are still some, some volunteer needs needed uh, at the time of this recording. Uh, I, I'm not sure by the time people will see it exactly what the updated list will be, which is why I'm not providing specifics. Those who still have interest can reach out to Jordan Woods uh, in our outreach office. But for the time being, so much of our journey of walking with moms in need goes beyond the practical. We're always quick to jump to the practical things that are needed, but accompaniment, whether in prayer or just in listening to be present, to people in need, in this case with moms in need, that sometimes as often as they might need a, a pack of diapers, just as often might need someone to give a listening ear, someone who's been up all night with a crying baby they don't know how to calm, uh, people who have no support systems built in. These are people we can not only pray for, and we need to pray for it. If you're watching this and you're not connected with this program in any way, please just pray for our moms in need. Uh, we have set for over 30 uh, families to be represented at our shower this weekend. But always to keep in mind that going back to the theme of the little way of St. Therese, even when there's no practical solutions apparent to you to problems, you can always be present and loving. And so help us to continue to walk with moms in need. This upcoming Sunday is World Mission Sunday. Every year, this is the theme. Uh, this is a, a global initiative and therefore a second collection that is worldwide in the church this weekend. And that is for the missions, for the uh, propagation of the faith throughout the world, supporting especially missionary regions of the world. And so the theme for this year that Pope Francis has chosen is hearts on fire, feet on the move. And so just a heads up, uh, when we get to Mass on Sunday, that is what the second collection is for is to serve our purpose of mission. Then on Monday, we have a very special guest joining us, a special concert that's free, uh, no cost to attend. On Monday evening, 
Johan Vexo, who is the organist for Notre Dame de Paris. Uh, as, as so many know, Notre Dame, which burned uh, in the last few years, is being rebuilt. Johan Vexo is the, is the organist for Notre Dame and has been touring as a way, even as their parish life or their church life inside has been limited or halted. Uh, he is touring uh, with his uh, kind of world-class music. And so he will be with us here at the Co-Cathedral at 7.30 p.m. Monday evening. On Mon that's October 23rd. Please be sure to join us for this wonderful concert opportunity. Then another new initiative we're trying out this year, which is the, around the, the very, of course, we know the month of November is the month we dedicate to praying for all the departed souls, the holy souls in purgatory. We know we celebrate All Saints Day, All Souls Day, and we do our remembrance of the dead throughout November. We'll still have our Book of the Dead out this year, but we are going to be putting up an All Souls altar this year for the first time. And so this for the All Souls altar, and it will be up from Saturday, October 28th through Sunday, November 5th, and we need your help in decorating it. Uh, there were requesting submissions, one photograph per family. Uh, we we got to cap it. I know some people could probably fill it, the whole thing themselves, but one four by six photo per family. It doesn't need to be framed. And they, the key thing is that they need to be submitted by Wednesday, October 25th. So you have a week to get them together. And the photos can be brought either to the Cathedral Center office during the week or at Sunday Mass. You can hand it to an usher. And those photos will be collected and used to decorate, uh, to put up the All Souls altar that will be standing in the narthex uh, for, for the span of a week to help us to give visual form to our prayers for the Holy Souls in Purgatory. So please look for the, the photo uh, for, for your family of those souls that we wish to pray for. Uh, and we will uh, look forward to, to being able to engage in this venerable tradition in a new way this year. That's what's going on here at the midpoint of October. Uh, as I said at the beginning, we have lots to, to pray for beyond the, the normal. Uh, please pray for me. I will not be with you this weekend at Masses as I will be in Oklahoma City gathering with the, the other knights and dames of the Equestrian Order of the Holy Sepulcher of Jerusalem. Our order's existence is about supporting uh, Christians in the Holy Land. Obviously, the, with the, the breakout of violence in the Holy Land, this will be very close to our heart as we look for the best ways uh, to support the, the tiny Christian population caught in the middle of all of this. And so, pray, please, not only for my safe travels, but for all of us and for truly for, for peace and a cessation to violence, to anti-Semitism, to all of these blights that are currently marring the Holy Land. O sacred heart of Jesus, we place all our trust in you. Amen. Thank you.